Hello and thank you for watching. Today I want to show you a little bit about how to use RMS Express remotely. And what I mean by remotely is wirelessly in a local area. So what I have here is my computer that's set up and it is got an email and it's connected to my radio. And I got my signal meter, my signal link USB interface for HF and a tiny track for for packet. Fairly straightforward. But what I want to be able to do is connect to this laptop in an RDP session. So what I've done is set up the laptop so that it can receive an RDP connection and I can connect to it remotely wirelessly in my house. So as long as my router is working in my house, that is it's connected to a 12 volt power source such as a battery, I can connect to this computer as long as I'm within range of my router, which is a little bit up the street, down the street, out on my deck, upstairs in my office, or even from my bedroom. Or better yet, I can put this computer in the radio in another area where it's out of the way and just connect to it all the time remotely. So what I want to show you is I'm going to use an iPad. I'm going to connect that iPad to my laptop. So I'm using something called 2x Client for Apple. It works in um, Android systems as well. And basically what it does is just allows you to connect to a RDP session. So there we go. I just connected to my laptop. The well, screen on the laptop went blank. And basically the same screens are up here. A little bit smaller monitor, but it still works nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this message to an outbox, and then I'm going to send it. And so that we can hear what the radio is transmitting and what the uh, what type of signal I'm getting back from the RMS station, I'm going to put a portable radio up here. And I'm going to turn up the volume so you can hear the connection. I'm going to post this to Outbox, and I'm going to bring up my packet session. I'm going to press start, and it should start. And there we go, it's finished. So we'll turn down the volume here. So anyways, that's a nice overview of how to connect to computer over here through a tablet PC or another computer or whatever you need to use. And then if you need to, you can just log back out, just close it off, turn off my tablet, and that's it.